Sweet. Recording. It should be recording now. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Hi, guys, and welcome to the first ever CivMC for Gas podcast. My name is Forge TK, and I am here today with my co host, Gas. And today, co-host. along with future episodes, uh, what did you fuck up? What did you do? How did you interrupt me? <laughs> What happened? I'm sorry, but co-host, come on. You're my co-host. We're both co- we're both hosts. How about we're What's both co-hosts and our guests are hosts? Well, I, I guess a fellow co-host, right? That would have been the word. Yeah. Fellow co-host. I'm sorry, I'll start over. All right. I, I was like, when I typed that up, I was like, what's the appropriate word? Because like we're both hosts. Like, you're not my guest. Yeah. <laughs> So I was trying to think. I saw your request. Uh, Just send that again, and we'll accept you in a second. Facts. All right, you may say the magical words. All right, here we go. Hi guys, and welcome to the first ever CivMC Four Gas podcast. My name is Forge TK, and I'm here today with my fellow co-host, Gas. And today, along with future episodes, we will be discussing various CivMC topics. How are you doing this evening, Gas? Uh, very good. How about you? I can complain a lot. I'm stuck in a fucking obsidian bunker. All right. Uh, let's let the <laughs> Thunder Fox in. Welcome in, Thunder Fox. Welcome on. Um, let me close Steam. My PC. Damn, I had an entire speech and I was muted. Um, <laughs> uh... What is your opinion on the degrading state of IF right now? Oh. Uh-oh. That, that, that's a... Uh, <laughs> Going I mean, straight into uh, I mean, Well, I mean, you said you were talking about various topics, and that is a topic. Um, I, what is your opinion? I mean, it's kind of tragic, I guess. Well, it, the dude that was convicted of cooing was your neighbor. So I want to know yeah, your... Yeah, yeah, no, that's tragic. It's just tragic. Yeah, yeah. What else is it supposed to be? Oh, I'm so happy. Forged, what is your opinion on this? Uh, t- tragic. It's tragedy. I-, I hate seeing nations hating each other. It's terrible. Uh, I don't have much else to say about the subject. Up air. Damn. <laughs> that is sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got essential working. Uh... Where? But I'm where leaving now. No, don't leave us. Okay, okay, here we go. Um, no, so one thing I wanted to bring up to uh, our guests, as well as you guys, is the changing weather in our server and how it may or may not be related to global warming. Oh, no. um, yeah, one thing I've noticed is uh the more vaults and bunkers being built the more it seems to rain on the server now i don't know whether or not to attribute this to the uh amount of resources being dug out of our uh beautiful little server's earth um or or how we should um you know reflect that oh you cut out oh uh sorry i connected all my what's your input on global warming on the server uh, I do not agree with the actions of the Civ MCers. I think I I broke my co-host. Yes, I've been broken. Uh, uh <laughs> gas buddy, you there? What? Hey, hello. Thank <laughs> you. Hello. How how I carry this subject further? This this one required a lot of input. Excuse me, I'm here. Y'all want to talk about the rise Hello. in beacon prices? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh. Bros is playing with too many settings. Uh, I'm gonna pull somebody in stage in the meantime. Uh, let's get bacon hair. He- hey. Hello. Can you hear All me? Right. I I have a lot to say, because with the global warming stuff, there's, like, you hear a lot of stuff about how people are, like, you know, where it's destroying, like, the environment, causing animals to die, and, like, making houses go up in prices, and, like, a bunch of stuff that also doesn't matter. 
but what you never hear about people also they just don't talk about like the good that global warming excuse, excuse me. me talk about all the issues so that we can determine whether we should increase global warming or turn it down a little bit because at the end of the day it can do both good and bad like for instance, like if there's no global warming uh, or if global warming increases, that's like global warming increases. All of the ice melts, you know, whatever. Some like penguins die or whatever. But then, like, no one's ever gonna die from like frostbite ever again. And I won't have to deal with winter anymore. And I think that's a pretty good win. Because, like, like, who cares about like snowy areas anyway? They look ugly. There's no leaves on the trees. Imagine if there were leaves on the trees all year round. Uh, just yeah. checking in, uh, can I be heard? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay, okay, good. Uh, what's, what's your input on global warming gas, and do you agree or disagree with Bacon's statement? Um, I didn't hear it since I was mic testing, but I think <laughs> oh that God. we should fix global warming because it's been heavily affecting the entire world 100%. Wow. Average okay, but- woke media believer. But according to Bacon's statement, he's saying that global warming isn't necessarily bad if you want things to be warmer. So yeah, to somebody, true. somebody and who think about cold, think about like like there's animals that are gonna die, you know, whatever. I mean, nobody lives in Antarctica anyway, so it's not like the animals that are gonna die. Like, so your belief like, is that like, global warming like, is like a how it's often like a you see a polar bear, and then like, but then there's also animals like, like lizards and snakes. And with the warm environment, they're going to thrive. So so your belief is that global warming is a rollout event. Basically, it's not just going to happen uh, all at once over the Earth, but like it's going to slowly affect like individual continents like one by one slowly. So for the immediate future, we don't need to worry about like Antarctica. Um, because uh, Nobody lives in Antarctica anyway. Uh, yeah, that's true. Mood, I feel that. True, true. True, Honestly. very true. Uh, but how does that affect the server? The amount of rain that we've seen has been insane. Do you not feel like that is a, a bit annoying? Do you think the admins can solve global warming? The local uh, to... infers are dying because of global well, warming. Well, I think... Well, admins are basically, like, gods. So they could probably do anything if they want. I mean, if the admins are choosing that there should be global warming, don't you think that there should just be global warming? Like, if God came down today, and he was like, Hey, guys, I'm not going to stop global warming. That'd be fucked. That, that'd be kind of hype. Okay, okay, okay. Well, like, imagine that same energy. Imagine if God came down and he said, I'm not going to... Imagine, like, the, the sky tears apart tomorrow morning, and God's head peeks down through the clouds, and he says, I'm not curing cancer, and he leaves. Well, then maybe you could think of it as a different perspective, and maybe God sees something in cancer that we don't see in cancer. I like the way you think, Bacon. I like the way you think. What has this conversation devolved to? Like, what's it called? Like, what if eventually, like, because you know, like, the Hulk and stuff, like, isn't he just, like, a giant cancer or whatever? Like, what if eventually people are able to get that? And that's, like, the new evolution of humans. That's it's kind of big. I mean, to be fair, though, like, you, you fight cancer with radiation, and he was just overly radioactively exposed, so. Oh, fuck, that's true. What if it's like anti Hulk, where? Anti Hulk? Yeah, he's just really weak. <laughs> oh, we fun. have a problem. Uh, it's like really weak, so he wouldn't have to eat as much food, and then that causes. That gets rid of uh, world hunger. Well, you, you brought up good points, Bacon. Um, uh, I think we actually have somebody else in the audience we're going to bring up here in just a moment, but uh, for a second, we're going to hear uh, uh, guests and put in all of this. Uh, okay. Thank you for your time, Bacon. I'm currently yeah. having technical problems with Mintsraft. Oh, you're good. You're good. Work it out. It looks like Store has something he wants to say. Uh, I want to see if he has any input on global warming. Yeah. yeah. I still need in-game news yeah. from you all, but... So, uh, I, uh... I, I'm a, I'm a vault hole. I know. You know, I've dug out my fair share of vault holes. Uh, I'd just like to say, you know, you know, it may be causing a bit of warming up. You know, as Bacon said, you know, you can have nice holidays. We don't have to pay for a holiday, you know. 
And uh, and also, all the resources I gather are going to the poor. Right. So if if you if you disagree with me, you hate the poor. So so so, so, so yeah. 100% of your resources are a good a good part of your resources. 100% 100% don't, of your don't fact check me. Okay, okay. Can that be fact? Don't fact don't fact check me on that. Okay, okay, okay. Don't fact check me on any percent of it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, we'll it's, not fact check you. Gotcha. I promise you. I'll, I'll, I'll give you my, my, uh, my definitely uh, believable, you know, truthful word. I believe it. It's going to happen one day. So, so you, you would argue, though, in, in when I die, that, uh, that the global warming. Uh, both IRL and the server are not things to be concerned about, and they're both equally um, attru- uh, attributable to uh, uh, good things, basically, right? Oh, it's real. Totally real. Definitely. I mean, yeah. you know, the thing is, right, we're going to be long dead by the time that shit affects us. So, like, just leave it to our descendants, so, uh, you know? Who cares? Yeah. We'll be dead. Does, does that personality, or does that personality, does that idea uh, roll into the server? So let's say the server lasts another uh, 80 years by some happenstance. The vaults that you're digging out right now and the holes that you're working on right now, um, do you think that's going to have any impact on future Civ players, or do you just not care? It's not a big well, deal. Well, you know, you know, in 10 years, you know, well, I'll be, I'll be 26. I'll, I'll have a job. Maybe, maybe I won't have time for Civ anymore. You know. So you know, again, you know. <laughs> Does it, does it does it affect me? <laughs> Fair. Yeah. 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 The future the future generations. You know, they they should thank us for making their holidays better rather than you know, get angry at us. You know So so if you found out that you were directly responsible uh for future Civ players having to put up with rain uh ninety percent of their day uh, you, you're okay with that? I I mean, if anyone asks, I'd just deny it. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 Being, a, being a denier is a big part of society, so like, I, oh, I respect yeah. it. I deny everything, but like, <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, uh, thank and you for you. letting me speak. Yeah, thank you, thank you for your time on the stage. <laughs> uh, we're going to pull up Zolo next. Oh, go ahead, guys. Now that you're right back. Next the issue... Uh, everyone give me your in-game usernames and I shall invite you to the Minecraft world. What is the Minecraft world again for? Uh, just like survi- playing Minecraft survival while listening to the podcast. No, they're probably going to do their own thing on the server while they listen, to be honest with you. I'll join it, though. Yeah, uh, you have Essential, right? Oh, no, I don't. Oh, you should get that real quick. Yeah, I'll download it. Uh, anyways, uh, prior to me doing that, though, we haven't heard your input, Gas. What's, uh, what's your take on global warming? Hmm. The warmer the server is, the better Gas News is. So I think we make more vaults. Uh, I love uh, the correlation. Yeah, well, okay, okay, first off, I need to get, I have some, some words I have to say with Sidor. Bring him in here. Get him in here, too. Okay, uh, we'll go quiet. We're bringing Sidor in. Yeah, bring, get Sidor in, get Sidor in, get Sidor in. I have some words I have to say to him. Yeah. So, okay. I know you agreed with most of what I said, but I have some things I gotta say about what you yeah. said. And the one thing is, I do not respect your belief that we should be deniers. I think we should own it, but we should own it where we make it sound like it's a good thing, because then they'll like mm. us. And if they That's, don't, I mean, no, 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 no. bacon, bacon. No. We deny the rain, and we don't deny the, the, the rain world. is a good dude. It could like. Actually, that, mm. global thirst is a real issue, and it could solve that. That's true, but denying it just and then if it makes a good thing, then you're denying that it makes a good thing, and then you look like a bad person. Do you want to look like a bad person? Do you want to be a bad person, Sador? We we we, that right we, now. we make no, you it sound good. We make okay? it sound okay? good. Okay? okay, you do not want to be a bad person. Trust me, you don't want to be a bad uh, person. No, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I am, but I'll deny it. No, you're. Oh my God, you can't deny it. No, but you deny it, bro. You look like a beta. Nah, uh, I'm a sigma. How do I? How do I be a sigma? Tell me. First stuff, you gotta stop denying shit. You gotta own okay, everything okay. you do, even if you're it, in the it. wrong. You can never, never admit that you're wrong. Never admit <laughs> never that you're admit wrong. wrong. That's, that's wrong. the big Just thing. That's the big it. thing. All right. What? Right. Never admit you're wrong. Just don't. Yeah, never admit you're wrong. 
You gotta stand with like strong like shoulders yeah. in front. Yeah. You gotta look like you have good shoulder muscles. You gotta put your head up high. You gotta show the world you have confidence. And then you gotta you gotta work on your Riz skills. But first we gotta define what Riz is. And okay, Riz, okay. I think the big I think we definition. Should go on a quest. What? We should go on a quest to find the holy Riz. Uh, oh well, I, I do know. I mean, if you think it's about it, the Riz was in us the entire time. You just gotta get it out. And but, but I think what it is is how much people are just drawn so, to you. Well, exactly. while I agree with this, let's let's bring this back to a subject of Riz. Uh, we'll yeah. bring that we'll bring that back to the stage before we go from global warming to Riz because mm -hmm. I don't I don't know how we. Well, I think global warming and Riz have a lot in common when you actually <laughs> cut it down. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. Hold on, hold on. Are you telling me that Riz is it's correlated? It is directly, it's directly it's proportional. Correlated. Not, not on first eyesight. Like not when you first see it. But I think you when you cut down the pitch, fundamental yeah. problems, because like I said, there's good and bad on global warming. But if you cut down the fundamental problems of global warming, it all does lead back to Riz. So, so let's think about it. If people who are making these factories. They're like hold on, hold on, when you're twenty year one year old rich sons from like old decaying fossils of people. Those those billionaires that yeah. like burned down the Amazon rainforest, they yeah. had to use mad riz to convince the locals to letting them do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they used their riz to convince them to keep hurting the environment. Incredible. But then it can also be a good thing. Because what I mentioned previously. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the prob the problem is that they're like on purposely making it that the newer generations have less riz, so that they the newer generations have less of a voice. Mm. Okay, but wouldn't that subsequently That's what we need to do. Uh, global warming? No, I wouldn't. Cause they have the riz. We don't have the riz. That's why you have to get the riz, and that's why you need to buy my course on how to get riz hold on hold on i have a course on how to get riz okay i'm the riz god no 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 i am the riz okay, god okay. i think we should i think we should trust me trust me trust me when i when i see riz i know it now should we, should we let zolo speak uh we should we should hold on yeah, yeah. yeah he is i know okay yeah let zolo speak Maybe he's a good friend of mine he knows a lot about riz i know it okay one second get Bring out on. of here all right, let's uh let's get Zello in here. Um, mind you, I don't the uh the the jump from uh, global warming to Riz was a pretty traumatic one for anybody listening. I'm sorry about that. Um, but uh, let's uh let's get Zello in if you're okay with that gas, and let's see if you had anything you wanted to add. Uh, yeah, you can let them in, let them talk. Wonderful. After if this, they uh, disagree we'll... with us, they'll be parole on site. I'm joking. I'm not. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome, Hi, bros. Hello. Hello. welcome in. What's up? What's good? What's going on, my podcast yeah. bros? Good. Uh, I'm streaming Minecraft. I'm getting myself stone tools. Good stuff, man. So, what's what's the uh, hot point of uh, conversation now? So, we were just briefly discussing um, a global woman on the server, and somehow that. Uh, uh, bridged over yes, to Riz. So. Evolved. Damn. Yeah, no, I mean, global warming on the server, do we have any proof of that? Is there any uh, yes. Yes, I do. I've actually been documenting how many times it's rained in a 24-hour period. Um, I haven't compiled any actual evidence uh, or even made a full graph yet. I've only written down one event. Uh, today at 12.34 p.m. my time, it rained once. Um, that sounds like pretty solid evidence, to be fair. Yeah, uh, I, I have a chart I'm working on. Um, so like, so who do you think is a chart? Who, who should we blame? Uh, so I, I I have a correlation here that I'm actually in the in the process of working on. Um, that rain is correlated to TPS, okay. and uh, that new friends negatively or positively. Over. I'm sorry. Negatively or positively correlated. Uh, negatively correlated. Okay. Yes, I, I have a negative correlation that new friends joining the server is drastically uh, lowering the TPS, uh, mm -hmm. which lowers the server's ability to uh, refresh real-time events, um, okay. which in turn uh, also uh, causes uh, paranoia inside of uh, old friends 
to which they go and build and dig out more uh, vaults, which are very um, resource extensive. Um, mm -hmm. And in doing this, they need a lot of XP, uh, which they also run a lot of like cactus and automatic farms, uh, which also subsequently lowers the TPS even further. So new friends joining the server uh, uh, snowballs into this big uh, mm -hmm. TPS drop issue, which is uh, glitching the server out and causing uh, rain. A lot oh, yeah. of rain. Yeah. So the uh, so good warning is you're waiting for global this for all new friends. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't I haven't came to that conclusion yet with my research, um, but I do believe that would be on the final page. Yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, that sounds like a good plan. I think. Uh, just if you see a new friend, do your duty to the server TPS and just crit them the fuck out. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. In fact, like next time a new friend joins, or actually, I'm sorry, rather the next time the TPS drops, um, you'll oh. notice a new friend joining. Um, it is a one-to-one -one correlation. The, uh, the uh, TPS does not drop any other time. Um, so new friends are ultimately uh, damaging the TPS of the server, which I believe is uh, inadvertently um, causing uh, global warming. How many of these new friends do you think are uh, saboteur VPN alts from salty people who got banned? Uh, so I haven't done... TPS? I, I haven't done much research, but I truly believe that there's a relation to uh, ban players to new players. So uh, I believe if we were to graph this out, you would see a uh, not a one to one, but probably like a like a, a one to four ratio of uh, ban right. players versus new players joining. Um, again, inadvertently affecting the uh, the TPS. Um, so Doctor Bacon here in here. I need to I need to discuss uh -huh. with him. Yes, All sure, uh, absolutely. Let me bring Bacon here. Okay, 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 I okay. get okay. Right, did you say wait, did you say that new friends were caught were like lowering global warming? Was that what the thing was? No, 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 they're, uh, no, they're, they're, they're creating more global the warming. Cost. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I agree with that. We we actually we can't let the new friends in because we need to we just need to build the vaults. But and also like this global warming shit guys, like trust me, I've lived in a cold area for a long time. It's never even been warm here. And if global warming exists, that wouldn't happen, guys. I mean, listen to me. So, so, personally, so. I kill every new friend that I see. And you know why I kill every new friend that I see? Because I don't want them going to Icenia and spreading their woke nonsense. Damn. All right, yeah. Are you? Do you have support from uh, from Overlord Chris Crispy with your stop woke agenda? Oh, yeah. Chris Crispy is their biggest red pill I know. He agrees Damn. with me with everything, though. Trust me, trust me. Do you think he's like a bit of like a cult follower sometimes? Oh, uh, no. That's what that's what the woke people want you to believe, but they're the real followers. So they go on their little device, they go on Twitter, and they scroll, and they scroll, and they just like every post that they just, all they see is posts that agree with their shit, and when they see anything related to like so you're saying it's like global warming, they just head instantly head downvote head. it, and they're like, and then they get their hate squad on, and they downvote, brigade it, and then <laughs> that's how the world media spreads. That's how it happens. It's like a virus. How does this relate to the IFs uh, and Benchy Monkey situation, though? Oh, don't get me started. The IF are the biggest woke people I've ever met. All they want to do is go to Icidia and spread their wokeness everywhere. That's what the whole Butternut War was about. It was about the woke agenda. They wanted to take over. Bacon, hold on, hold on. Before you start slandering, years. before you start slandering the IF, remember that uh, our fellow host is IF. Oh, oh. apologies, apologies. I'm sure he's not like those uh, li other liberals. <laughs> guys, guys, what's what's your input on this? He's calling you. He's calling you a snowflake liberal. No comment. Well, oh, okay. Whoa, whoa. That sounds I didn't good. Call him, I didn't. Okay, let's not let's not take things too out of hand. I didn't call okay. him a snowflake. Okay, okay, Doctor Bacon here. Yeah. What's your expert opinion on Physics Gamer? Is main Psycho goal? Dude. He was well, sent. Hold on, hold on. Sent? Is, 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 is this in correlation to global warming? Uh, no, yeah, yeah, because Physics Gamer is one of the biggest uh, trying to recruit new friends and joining them from Mycenae. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Continue he, was on sent, he was sent by... Okay, he was, he was sent by the... By the media department like the main place gang she he was sent there to ti to take over spread wokeness everywhere it didn't work because we see through the fucking lies and bullshit and he was there to like solo said 
steal new friends from Mycenae so they could indoctrinate them into their woke <clears throat> ideology. All right, th- there's some uh, radical accusations baking here. I have all the evidence to back you up. I just uh, so uh, I don't have the uh, permission to share it right now. But what, trust what, me. What, what do you think the role of all of the like advertisers, like people like uh, Solitaire Seven and people advertising the server to new friends? What is their role in spreading global warming? Do you think they're oh, culpable? I think that I think I think I think they're I think they're talking. They're speaking. They're spreading from a good place. But I think at the end of the day, they're brainwashed by these other people because. You know, Solitaire is from Uwaddle. Uwaddle is right next to Gang Shi, the biggest fucking woke liberals I've ever met. So obviously, they're going to have some intake just based on the environment that they live in. Alright, yeah. So uh, you say that they should not be tried in a war crimes trial for inviting new friends to the server? I think that what needs to be happened is they just need a good talking to, and maybe we can change their opinion. You think so? I think that's what this what this is all about. But there are people. Okay, listen, like listen, close. This is this is important. There are people that are uh, too woke. There's no saving them. Damn. All right. That's some insightful commentary. That was a uh, that was some good information, Bacon. Thank you. Uh, you Thank you've you. definitely you've definitely pivoted my viewpoint by like three degrees. So I I appreciate that. That's a yeah, lot of warming. Just like global warming. Cooling, yeah, global warming, uh, raising the temperature three degrees. Yeah. So, uh, hold on, it looks like Store has something to say. We'll bring you guys back to the table here in a second. Uh, Zola, did you have any final input? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I just wanted to point out that I appreciate this uh, cross-country collaboration between Gas and Forge. I think this is a good opportunity and a good role model for people worldwide. Um, and also... I think that we should spawn more withers regularly, uh, everywhere. Yeah, I agree. I can get behind that. I actually endorse that. I believe the Forecast Podcast endorses the spawning of withers. Uh, withers are actually uh, proactively lowering global warming by killing every living thing. They're actually in danger, and they're being saved from global warming. They are. That's why we need to keep doing global warming. But like, also, we need to think about the other animals, too. Facts, for sure. I mean, think about it. Every time a wither kills an animal, it drops a rose, which is like... You know, kind of poetic in a way. Yeah, you know, kind, kind of. of wizard, it's the wither's way of saying, like, you know, uh, these things, like, they're they're producing carbon mono- or dioxide, which is, you know, ultimately, you know, damaging the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, so instead, it drops a flower, a plant, which is uh, uh, taking that carbon dioxide and converting it into oxygen, which is um, amazing. You know, it, it speaks volumes from what the wow. wither's perspective is. So I, wow. I think we should spawn more withers. Hold on, wow. Story Andrew has always surprises me. All right, yeah. This uh, that's been. Uh... Wait, I, actually, I want to have a short chat with Sidor, if it's possible, when he comes up to the table. Oh uh, yeah, sure. We'll bring you up here in just a moment. Um, let me, uh, me and me and Gas have some things we're gonna talk about. We'll bring you right. and Sidor back up here. See you. How's your Minecraft world going, Gas? Gas. Bro is just damaged from the inside. I don't think there's any saving him at this point. Gas, we cannot hear you. I'm going to bring Store up. Okay, there you are. There you are. <laughs> yeah, how's how's your Minecraft work going? Uh, pretty good. I've declared the very center of the Minecraft world, Gasland, a monarchy nation. Fuck yeah, dude! Hell yeah! Uh, I'm waiting for Thunder Fox to join back in, but I have no idea where he went. So let me ask you this, Gas. What's your uh, what's your input of the IF? Like, how do you feel about the IF since you've been living there now since you joined the server? It's a really good nation. Like, very new friend friendly. I basically had no problems being there as a new friend. And okay. All the problems. If you like, are if you are like, hang on, let me. Think of how to word this. I'll have to word this while running away from skeletons actively. Uh, I mean, like, all the little problems, if you're, like, a government official and you can make some changes in, like, only a state, then all other new friends will basically have no problems. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
Yeah, that's that's kind of mine. Long pause. I am currently almost dead. You are good, brother. All right, I'm going to bring Stor on real quick. Uh, I believe he has something he wants to say. And uh, we may uh, bring Zola back on as well. I believe he has something he wants to say to uh, Stor. Cool. Let me join the Minecraft world. You will be a prince of the nation. Wonderful. Uh, Thunderbolt uh, will be the steward. <laughs> I'll be the prince. Let's go. All right, let's bring Stor up heart. here. Have a heart. Oh God. Sorry. Panicking. Yeah, I d I just wanted to add what to what uh, Bacon was saying before that physics is just. Absolutely evil, you know. I I was recently contacted by a uh, a new friend, who anon anonymous new friend who uh, he he actually told us that um, physics and associates had threatened to bounty him if he joined our senior. So you know he, you know he's see when when new friends get established, you know they 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 start to be, you know well if they get new friends. They start to be less of a, um, <laughs> they start to be less of, uh, you know, a, a threat to, uh, to, uh, old friends, you know, so, so they stop, you know, being paranoid and, but physics, you know, he's, he's, you know, keeping them, you know, away from IT, you know, away from the good place. So, and uh, on, on, honestly, mate, like, if, if you know physics, they're, they're going to be stressful for the, uh, for the uh, the old friends, buddy. Like they're gonna be revolts by the thousands, okay? So uh, you know, he's he's just he's really a danger to the server and like he's he's just gonna cause, you know, insane amounts of you know, global warming and you know, it just it's gonna be terrible, dude. It's gonna be terrible. So, so so physics is related to global warming on almost a one yeah. Oh oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I assume you definitely that. get the best scientists on this, and I believe this is worth yeah. studying. But I, I believe it. You know, mm. I really do. Yeah, I, I believe that physics well, does should. have a direct correlation to global warming, and I, I know that there's a science that can prove it. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm definitely down with studying that. I believe that Zola wanted to speak with you, so let me pull him in. Real yeah, quick. yeah. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. So, Sidor. Yeah, you have been uh, one of the leading forces in uh, trying to. <laughs> you have been one of the leading forces oh, in trying to recover Icarus from the dead after the Butternut War, after like yeah. large bouts of inst uh, instability and inactivity. You were the leading force behind getting Icarus joining Mercutio to yeah. uh, bounce us back, and then also further actions more recently. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to ask you. What drives you to uh, do this selfless work? And do you think Icarus will be back on the world stage soon, or at least be back in some capacity? Dude, you know, I, 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 I love Icarus. You know, Icarus is uh, it's my city. You know, it's uh, it's my home. It's my place. Yeah. Icarus I can't will always be my heart. You know, I was uh, it, it was my second nation ever. You know, I, I, I think honestly, you know. If Icarus is based enough, it will be on the world stage soon. Yeah, that I think. Sounds... Yeah. Uh, that sounds good. Um, yeah. Do you have any plans? Ooh, you know, I'd I'd like to start a uh, shop in Blue Cove, maybe. Uh, awesome. Yeah, to make to make Icarus more. Um... Jesus, what is that? What, what would you What would you argue is uh, Icarus is like leading export? Like, what is the uh... What is their leading export, and what is something that should compel people to visit Icarus? I would say board posting is our leading export. I'm sorry, what is it? Board posting. Posting That's a lot true. of videos on board. Okay. Uh, would, yeah. you put, would you put uh, the, the creation of marijuana on that web? Uh, I think it can be, most definitely. I mean, you yeah, know. We acquire the recipe due to the diligent efforts of uh, our uh, second brewer in command, and uh, we have the capacity to produce a lot of marijuana, very high quality. And maybe even smuggle it across some international borders. Oh, huh, interesting. So, so big things for Icarus on the future. Uh, I, yeah, I've heard there were some um, meth heads who know how to make meth, but not quite marijuana. I heard they're in like some big city somewhere, and we could definitely get some uh, marijuana to them. 
Yeah. Definitely. Uh, I also wanted to ask on the topic of a person's role in their nation. Uh, I wanted to ask Gas, uh, what's your opinion on the IF has been in a bit of news lately yeah. with the whole sloth coup and mm. as the man having some drama with the How how do you live as an IF citizen? Yeah. How do you live as an IF citizen? Uh, like, do you try to engage with the drama? Do you try to stay out of it? I mean, are you up to date on it, or do you try to I do just, your like, own thing more? I just like switch between back and forth. I usually just mm -hmm. like watch the drama happen, get a bowl of popcorn, and. Just... But you kind of watch it as an outside, yeah. yeah. But if so obviously I you to, live in um autonomy. If I have to, if I have to get involved, then I will. But usually, I just like watch it happen. I, I have a question. Yes. As an um as an exclave of autonomy inside the IF, how does how does um Nolora like w what's what's the relations with what's it Nolora and yeah. and the uh, IF? I mean, Nolora likes IF a lot. Yeah. We are. But you're autonomy. We're pretty loyal. What? You're you're autonomy. You you get claimed by autonomy, no? We were not claimed by Otonabi. I heard some rogue... Well, let's not discuss okay, some okay, uh, okay. Sorry. contemporary political I'm sure. issues. I anyway, don't think so. Uh, Forge TK, you've been known for your Forge drops in Icenia. Uh, and I would like to ask, what brought you to this uh, sort of like ingenious business <laughs> uh which no one else has thought of before? Uh, what, what inspired the Forge drop? Well, you, you kind of answered it there first, Dolo, uh, when you said that nobody else has thought of it. And I believe that is at the heart of every entrepreneur, is to uh, provide a product to the masses that they, A, didn't know they needed, and B, the market didn't know existed. So that is kind of where I fell into place with the Forge Merc Chops. Um, I believe it is uh, niche enough to where people will buy it, and stupid enough to where people will, you know, flog for it. Um, so, yeah, that's just... Uh, my inspiration behind it was, uh, you know, after IRL uh, brands such as like Gucci and uh, Nike and Adidas and other, you know, high value name brands. Mm. And um, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I actually have big plans for future merch drops. I have a question. What's up? This is to uh, Gas. Have you have you ever bought um one of Ford's merch drops? <laughs> uh, no, I am poor. I'm broke. E e planning to is in the roadworks. Yes, but right now I just spent all of my money. Roadmap. I spent all of my money on God Armor, and I'm broke. Mhm. Mm well, that's fair uh, enough. That's fair enough. A question to both the hosts. Yes. Would you guys consider adding advertising space in your uh, news broadcasts and I mean, podcasts in the been, future? I've been considering it, but right now I'm not yet. Right, so we're we're definitely we're definitely interested in growing the channel first, um, and once we reach a you know target audience, I believe that me and Gas are both you know uh, willing to open up the channel to uh, whatever prospects and ventures, uh, you know, uh, better serve the channel and its growth. So if yeah, if those don't negatively affect the uh, server, I'm I'm for it. All right, that sounds good. Yeah, that was uh, most of my questions that I had for the. Uh... Yeah. Zolo, let me ask you this real quick. Uh, right, yeah. I asked Sador about this. Um, I didn't get an answer uh, just yet. But what is what is one what is the the leading reason to come to Icarus? What is y'all's main attraction? I mean, so currently, I think most people can understand that there's been a lot of turmoil stuff with the uh, the war and the surrounding incidents. But I think the main the main selling point of Icarus is that we are a nation by new players and for new players, and that it is one of the nations that uh, is an actual new friend nation success story. It's, this is my biggest point with Icarus, I think, that uh, it's like living proof that a group of players who had essentially no Civ experience before uh, and no real context within the world can make it onto the stage. And in more smaller affairs, we have a city which I would consider very nice. We have a lot of attractions and a lot of things you can do while playing uh, that right. suit most playstyles. And uh, we also have a pretty sick location on the Western World border. 
True, yeah. And uh, I'm surprised you didn't say anything about y'all's coastlines and how uh, beautiful the city is. Um, I did mention the city a little bit. I think it's a pretty city, uh, especially very, very during nighttime because it's uh, very well lit. Uh, we also got drugs. Yeah, yeah, we we did mention the drugs, yes. We have a very emergent, illicit uh, substance. Yeah. Substance. We'll have a market coming up soon, so stay tuned. Sorry, so, that was an ad. I shouldn't have done that. This is a special improv segment, and uh, thank you, Zolo, for your input. Um, for this section, and I'm going to put you back on the audience, Zolo, okay? Um, Should I go back to No, 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 you're going to stay here, Story. All right, all right. So, so for this for this section, I'm going to put a timer up, and you have one minute to say whatever you want about bacon hair, and he cannot retaliate because he's in the audience. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Wow. All right, here we go. Now, you know, bacon hair. You know, the one the one thing I'll say good about him is that you know he's he can be funny, very funny at times. But other than that, he's a huge copy, you know, he's, you know, he copes every day, you know, when I, when I have to go to bed, he's like, Ooh, no, 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 <laughs> no, you gotta stay out. It's like, it's not fake faking, you can't, no, I'm not gonna look at that, you can't, I'm looking at Micro. And he's a, he's a huge copy, you know, and he, he's always banging me, he's played Roblox, and, you know, I, I, I never do that. I never beg him to play Roblox, never. I would never, um... And, uh, you know, he's he's always getting, you know, dictated on by <laughs> Physics Gamer, you know, he's, you know, he has cued him, but, you know, he's just, he had it happen again, got rid of him, you know, but he, he needs to fix that, you know, he's stopped being cued, uh, not cued, being dictated on by Physics Gamer, you know, it's a huge problem, and, you know, I mean, hopefully it's, you know, gone permanently this time, but, uh, you know, we'll see. No, I... It was a good input. I have more to say if he didn't leave the audience. <laughs> I muted bacon hair, so he cannot disagree in chat either. <laughs> Dude. Oh, no, no, get him back. Okay. I'm okay, okay, yeah, trying, trying to message world. Hold on. Uh, remove timeout. Hold on. Oh, it's Jova. I didn't mean to put you our turn. All right, so it's your turn to get... The bacon treatment. Yeah. Bacon, please get up here. Yeah. It's, it's your turn. To, you have a minute to talk about the story. Go ahead. I mean, there, I mean, I don't know if a minute is like a little too long to talk about the story. There's not very much. I mean, all you really like need to know about him is that he's British, and that's pretty much it. I mean, if you like. Okay. Bro, he went into you. you all you can do is talk. Okay, I mean, I mean, I mean, I think British is enough, but if you want to get, like, if you want to know what he's really like, I mean, just like, oh, okay, okay, picture me with this. Imagine, imagine Homelander, and there you go. That's pretty Damn. much it. That's literally how he is, bro. What, like, Sador doesn't even make any sense in his name, bro, and all he does, and by the way, that shit where he's like, he never plays Roblox, I literally see it all the time, he plays Roblox, and it's like, for hours and hours and hours on it, and he, like, is up in my DMs, he's like, oh, I found this really cool Roblox game, guys, and he's like, you gotta play with me, you gotta play with me, guys, and it just takes me away from the grind, and I then, need photo all my right people, they're telling me that I found, oh, society's falling apart, society's falling apart, well, they don't do anything about it, because I'm too busy playing Roblox with this guy! I think we need photo evidence. I I, I can vouch on, uh, on Bacon's behalf. Uh, he does play an absurd amount of Roblox. <laughs> I got on this morning and Mans was playing Roblox. So he got, he got me in this one game where you just we drove this car around and our car fell in a ditch and he had me walk for hours and hours on end and there was nothing and then he had me shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I can't breathe. What the fuck? Hold on, store. Store would like to speak. I'm gonna bring him in. Here we go. <laughs> we want to hear his response. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. First of all, Homelander's buff. Yeah, he's he's a handsome man. Just. I like... mean, I will give him. A, he's he's an American patriot. I will give him that. Ah, oh, fuck no! That's an insult then. 
，是啊。<笑>呃、uh, ，I mean, you know, I just say,、uh, yeah, I, I, you know, you get burned out of Minecraft, all right? Okay, okay.、Uh, yeah, I, 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 All right.、Oh, I, you, I mean,、you. I mean,、uh, okay, okay. I, will, I, will admit, uh, I do, I do dabble in some of the、uh, Roblox. Dabble, dabble. Oh, oh wow, not, wow, not, wow. Not, okay, but I think that's I, I, can quit, I can quit. I can quit whenever I want. I can quit whenever I want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you.、Uh, you got, you got to understand, right? You know, I was, I was resetting my sleep pattern. All right. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you were I, every every day. I, so, I, you told me I, you were you doing. We were we were you were you were forcing me to play Roblox with you the other night, and you were like, "I've been up for、uh, over twenty four hours." Yeah, I was reset. Yeah, <laughs> probably all twenty four hours were spent on Roblox. No, no, I was uh, I was going out, you know, working out all the time. Oh yeah, uh huh. As, as one yeah, does. Yeah, as <laughs> yeah, as one does. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'm, I'm really bad. I went. I went to touch grass. So yeah, yeah.、Oh、God, it's not even true. It's not even true. I literally, I told you, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go out to the beach because you know, I'm super buff. Um, and you were just sitting there, still on Roblox, bro. Yeah, you know what I did. I closed. Oh yeah. Ah.、Oh, I big closed. Time. Big、Roblox. time. I yeah, big time. Big. Time. You got. You got any proof? I, that, oh, it was, uh, I just know the facts. Bro, I just know facts. Yeah, know you're wrong. You're wrong. You start. Sorry, I just wanted to pour my drink in the microphone. Okay, okay. I'm listening. Oh, that was it. it oh, <laughs> I, I completely agree with you with the drink part. That that was amazing. I don't even know what to say, bro. I don't even. I don't even. Understand it. Understand it. I'm astounded. Oh my god! Where are you taking? Where are you taking? This, is, you why, taking this is this is why you're British. Shaft, but I can't find anything. This is the worst. Dude, come on, come on, come on. Also, also, when you when you play it, okay. Roach Grammys until our fucking car broke down. It was hype, All right? It was hype. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you said there were people that were gonna shoot us, and there were no people that shot us, and their car stuck in a fucking ditch. Dude, you dude, dude. You literally were looking at the map. You didn't、dude. tell me there was a ditch there. Dude, dude, I did, I did. Yeah, and then we、right. walked for forever, and then you were like, "Okay, okay, okay." Ah,、uh, <laughs> shoot! Aim your gun at me and、uh, pull the trigger three times. Okay, okay. I was trying to go、time. back so left, we could left me in the middle of the fucking desert. Dude, I didn't, I didn't know it would let me. I didn't know it would let me teleport to you because、oh, I just、yeah. done it a second、oh, before. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, hey, Bacon,、really? post your bench. How much you bench? I bench it all. Forge the noble wants to speak. All right, hold on. All right. Noble would like to speak. Whoa. Go back to the audience. One second. That's how I get everyone's attention. I just shove my microphone, my microphone in、oh, my mouth. Oh, real? It works. Yeah, hundred percent. I've done it to Thunder Fox so many times. I think he's gone deaf. Welcome to the stage, noble. Golden apple. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I invited him, but it's not bringing him.、Uh, it might take a second. I did it again. I'll do it.、Uh, Noble, would you like to speak? Noble. No. Because if not, Zolo seems to have words. I'm, go I'm going to dismiss, and he'll resend it. I think, yep. Maybe, perhaps. He said, "Oh wait, slightly concerning." I currently have store, and we're heading out to the middle of BFE. I don't know where we're going. We're actually beelining、uh, the IF right now.、Hmm. Um, all right. Um. All right. I want to bring Zolo on real quick. All right. Put him on. 
Oh, <laughs> store. No, not not store. Hold on, hold on. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, I just want to say that uh, seeing, hearing Bacon and Sador fight like that, like uh, arguing, is kind of like seeing like two dumb monkeys just going at it in like a YouTube video. Like, See, now you now you know why I gave them each a minute to talk shit on each other yeah. before inviting them into a server. Or into yeah, the th they're both bad at shit talking, and they're both bad at Minecraft, and it's it's pretty embarrassing, honestly. Uh, oh, in fact, in fact, in fact, I want you I want you to go in on store for a minute because he wants to talk. Okay, it's a store. One minute. Did I get one minute to shit talk store? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Let me get my stopwatch going. Man, uh, I one minute is enough. All right. Oh, okay. fuck. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> All right, yeah, so first things first, right? Uh, Sidor is that one guy who always says, oh, yeah, I'm going to help you out, I'm going to help you out, but then never contributes to the group project, right? Like, I think it's taken him a year now to download uh, JS Macros to run a single fucking farm. Like, hundreds of farms in Icarus doesn't run a single one. Um, whenever it's... Whenever I open the diamond chests, I see Sidor has been in it, and you know what I see? Less diamonds than what I put in. Every time. Every time I open the fucking diamond chest, it's less. <laughs> every time, it's fucking Sidor. I promise you, okay? And then he goes on about... And then every time I ask him, like, oh yeah, do you want to do this project? Uh, do you want to help me out doing this? And he has to play his fucking Roblox game. His dumb fuck Roblox game. 12-year-old ass game. <laughs> the problem is, he's basically fucking 12 years old, but he tricks everyone because he has a deep voice. It's so fucking annoying, dude. Holy shit. And also, he's British. And he has a dumb fuck fucking British accent, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, and the only reason he's still in the nation, bro, is because somehow, bro. There's your minute, but I'll let you finish. I uh, no, no, I'm fine. I'll let Sidor. Alright, let's get Sidor in here while it's fresh. <laughs> Guys, this segment, we have to bring it back. I'm dying. listening to this hey guys <laughs> hey guys so uh so let me let me just start so uh <laughs> firstly he's swedish and um so he's like just in a relevant country that no one's ever heard of right i i'm a i live in britain you know everyone's heard of britain right it's the best country in the world second okay so <laughs> next thing is right the only time I've taken diamonds out of that chest was was when was, was you told me I could, Zoe. All right, you told me I could. Okay, okay. And I I, I think I saw Bacon. That I that I did it or or Drakimor, and then he tells everyone I've stolen it out of it. All right, he's lying. You're lying. Everyone's lying. Okay. And the next thing is I've mined so much more than what I took out of that chest. All right. You owe me. You owe me. And that, uh, JS, J, JS Macros? I never saw it down like that. I never did. Alright. Never promised that. Because, who cares? Who cares? I, right. I'm gonna make drugs. Alright. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna outsell you on the market. Alright. You're fucking done, bro. You're done. It's over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna coop you. I'm gonna make store land. I'm gonna ally with Gangshi. <laughs> du you're done, mate. You're done. <laughs> it's fucking okay. over, bro. It is fucking over. All right, Zoe. Okay. See, see Zoe's tight. All right, all right. This is what Zoe does. All right. He he can be mo he can be bothered to mine out like entire fucking vault hole. Then you know what he does when you ask him to like give you a role on a Discord server. He cannot be bothered. When you ask him to like create a channel, he's like, I'll just create it still or something. He's lazy. He's lazy in the worst. De de Wait, what the shut the fuck up! <laughs> shut the fuck up, Bacon. All right. See, see that they're, they're both wrong. They're both idiots. They're both incels. All right. They're they're just both wrong. All right. <coughs> um, so, do you have proof? Do you have proof? Any of that? No. You have proof I'm British. Which you're you're jealous of, all right? That, that's all. That's all. Well, Fuck you, other. You eat poo. Thank you, thank you for your input. Uh, we'll bring you back up here in a minute. I believe Noble right. has something he wants to add. So let's see what he yeah. has. What? I keep clicking on people after they've left. All right, let's get Noble up here. Uh, new guy. He hasn't said anything. 
I mean, he said some I, stuff, I think. I tried inviting him again, but it won't pull him. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh Noble, or... Submit another request. There you go. Invite sent. He has to accept it. Noble, you have to accept the invite. Noble, accept the invite. Accept it. Hold on, don't be shy. Oh, he doesn't know how. Rip. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, there he is, there he is, okay. There Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Can um, new friend. Alright. Yeah, go, go ahead, Noble. What do you have to say? Can new friends be forced to do slave labor? Now that's the question. Well, hold on, hold on. Before we before we throw around that word, let's use uh, uh, what's what's another word for it? Uh, unwilling manual labor, I guess. Don't use minimum wage. Minimum wage, yeah, minimum wage job. <laughs> but yes, can new friends be used or forced to uh, uh, labor um, against their will? Yes, absolutely. Then that would mean we can use them for anything. We can force them to build a mine. We can force new friends to do anything for the trans for Transylvania. This uh, indeed is a good idea. Yeah, uh, I mean forced, nothing's way, like uh, check your pings. I told you to uh, download a central so you can hop on this uh, world. So, so is that your take though? Uh, using new friends for uh. For a voluntarily conscribed laborer? Yeah, because we need to make Transylvania great, great, even greater. So let me ask you this, though. What's, what stopped you from doing that? Well, nothing has. I never tried it before. But once I become president of Transylvania, or if, I will make Transylvania greater again by, you know, implementing some unwilling... So, so let me ask you this though. You keep you keep saying if, but have you ever considered a coup? Well, that's a good idea. Good idea. I mean, it seems to be the hot topic of the server right now. You know, it seems like every week there's a different coup. So, like, I mean, you could make news. So, I mean, you you really want uh you know forced laborers? Why not uh, start a coup and make it happen? Hmm, I don't know. No, no well, really I think I think you have a task ahead of you. I think you have a long, windy road ahead of you. I think it's going to end, or end with you as the uh, the God Emperor of Transylvania, and I think that begins with you beginning a coup. So that's what I want you to do tonight. I want you to get off this call. I want you to grab a piece of paper, notepad if you will, whatever you have, and uh, write down your next steps for uh, cooing Transylvania. And I'm hoping by the time next week when we have this similar call. Uh, you are the God Emperor of Transylvania, and I hope that you have at least, at least five new friends as uh, forced laborers. If that is not the case, um, then I will be uh, remotely very disappointed. Yeah, uh -huh. took the words right out of my mouth. So let's see it happen. All right, all right. Uh, I want to see a Reddit post. I want to see a Reddit post about the coup of Transylvania. All right. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, looks like we have two other people uh, wanting to speak in the comments. Did you have anything else you wanted to add, Noble? Uh, who are the two people? Uh, vote for me in the next uh, presidential, uh, I mean, Transylvania Brother, election. I won't I don't get vote voted, I will coo. I won't have to vote for you because you've got it, okay? Everybody knows that the leader of the coup gets the nation. I have faith in you, Noble. Uh, thank you for the talk. Thank you for participating. And uh, hopefully we'll have you back on stage here in a minute. Yep. All right. Thunder has something he wants to say, so let's get him up here. All right, let him in. Is he on? Yep. Welcome yeah. in. I Welcome in, Thunder Fox. I would like to say, since you weren't speaking, Gas, that the first thing you did to me as a new friend was threaten to kill me and then extort materials from me. What? I did not extort materials, but I did make joke threats. 
Mind you, you I got me I didn't down to one. Pearls. So I would like to tell Noble that you do have a two supporters on this call. Gas is a firm supporter of using new friends as manual labor. I, if I hire someone to do labor, I pay them. You tried to kill me. <laughs> You're my friend. If I, I've had two other new friends in a villa, and I haven't tried to kill them because I don't know them. Yes, you have. No. Caddy Walker, Rusty Raccoon. Cat, first of all, Caddy Walker is a traitor to Imperial Federation. That doesn't and mean I didn't uh, try to kill him. You threatened to kill Sniper too. He's my friend, too. What? You threatened to kill us? As a joke, you guys are my friends. Would, would you try to kill Forged? No. Forged, would you try to kill Gas? If he was opposing you? I refuse to elaborate. No, I'm kidding, I wouldn't, no. Uh, okay. I have showed up at his doorstep with a few buds I of mine like with some with some withers, but I, I wouldn't like actually. Oh, if you know yeah. someone, I feel like if you've known someone for over a year or you know them IRL, you get to almost kill them. Fair. Also, forged. Why did you do that? Why did you almost so, destroy? So Avina? I I didn't see. We were all hanging out, and Bacon had this wild idea that he wanted to go take down the IF, and um. <laughs> We were like, Bacon, no, you probably shouldn't do that. And before we knew it, he was already on the island there. He had, like, at least, I want to say at the time, he had, like, six six wither, like, components ready, you know? So, like, however many that is, like, 18 uh, wither skulls, like, however many fucking uh, souls in. Anyway, so with, uh, Bacon was, like, mad ready to uh, take out the IF. Um, so we ended up having to go down there and intercept. And um, by the time we got there, he already unleashed two of them. So... Uh, we, we did what we could to stop him, but he was ultimately too powerful. Um, Anvil did whatever he could in his best abilities, but Bacon soon overcame him. Um, I don't know if it was that or if Anvil was just, you know, going easy on him. Uh, but Anvil ended up turning around and going the other way, and me and Sidor followed him. And uh, you, you can actually check the snitch lobs. Uh, me, Sidor, and uh, Anvil were already back in Icenia before Bacon even made it back home. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was, it was mostly Bacon. Um... For the record. Also, is it true that you killed Gath the dog? No. Uh, that is not I true. Uh, we actually put him in a reinforced obsidian box to protect him from the uh, the wither outside. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, no, they were I still see. alive. Well, yeah, there, there, there were no lives lost other than the two withers that Bacon released. Yeah. And well, I'm gonna leave you, now. What do you think about what? the current situation with Caddy Womper, Joel, and uh, Sloth? I keep, I keep t telling you to burn down his house, but you won't do it. His house is not made out of wood, plus you attempted to get a search and seizure warrant, but yeah, we said no. So, I don't, I don't particularly have any uh, input on the first two, uh, Cattywampus and the other name. I couldn't quite remember what you had said. Um, but Sloth is just a, yeah. Sloth is a, is a goofy goober, bro. He's a, he's a character. I I don't I don't know him uh, other than just the goofy shit he tries to pull off. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I I of course coming from an Isidian standpoint, I disapprove of every action he's made. But coming from a goofy, silly gamer such as myself, I can't help but appreciate the fact that the dude just won't give up. I have said time and time again, I put sloth and physics gamer in the same little pod, like in the same like place in my heart of just absolute insanity nut jobs that will never stop being themselves. No matter how much you try to change Sloth, Sloth will always skybridge you. No matter how much you try to change Physics Gamer, he will try to take over your nation and become an evil dictator. It just, they won't change. And you have to, like, at some point, you know, you have to appreciate that. Because there's not a lot of people out there that are just that hard-headed and, you know, in solid in what they believe as those two players. So, uh, Sloth, if you're listening to this, uh, your, your attempts, they're, they're not commended. I, I, I can think we all agree that they're, they're, they're in negative interests of everybody, but 
kudos for being yourself and never giving up. I almost closed out of my fucking game. Uh, Thunder, did you have anything else you would like to add? We have somebody else in the audience that would like to come in. No, I don't. Thank you for your time, Goofy Game. Wonderful. Dude, thank, I guess. thank you for time. Um, thank you, Thunderfox. Uh, let's bring Anvil in. Hopefully he has some shit he wants to say about Sador. Oh, yeah, uh, Forged, could you get Essential and join? Oh, yeah, hold on. Um... Alright, what's up? Uh... Oh, hello, Anvil. What are y'all doing? Uh, uh, we're having a podcast. <laughs> we're, we're going over... Uh, server events, whether that be global warming, your opinions of Sador Bacon Air, uh, uh, your Q in IF. the Q and IF, or uh, <laughs> using new friends for uh, manual labor. Uh, hmm. I guess we could talk about Bacon, the terrorist. What do you have to say about Bacon being a terrorist? What would you like to add on say, to that? <clears throat> say that? I'm gonna get my revenge on him. I have developed a device that I'm gonna place NTI. I think you've you might have seen it. I did I did, yes. And that will be going in the middle of TI. I, I I would argue that TI is probably uh the <laughs> the best testing grounds for this device. Um wait not the best or the best? No the best. The best okay. testing grounds. Absolutely. One hundred and ten percent the best testing grounds. I mean, based on like like uh, population density and uh, build to player ratio, TI is the best place to test this device. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I would argue that you are the Oppenheimer of CivMC. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I think you have <laughs> has become death. Um, yeah. In fact, uh, I I think. <laughs> I think we should get uh, bacon's and mushrooms and uh, all of their uh, log times, and uh, you know, work on using the uh, the device around that time. <clears> Thor <throat> just messaged yeah. me and said, "Anvil." <laughs> 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 Incredible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, he has to be stopped. He does. He does. Um. Yeah, honestly, when, whenever we left there that day, the the amount of terror I heard and 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 um, uh, fucking gas, you can you can vouch for it. the amount of terror I heard in all of their voices uh, as we're leaving the VC of uh, what Bacon was doing um, in the IF. It was just is incredibly terrible. Yeah. Uh, gas, what are you, what are your rec recollections of that day? Like, how do you view I Bacon? Remember, I remember seeing the Wither boss bar. I was actually replaying the scenario in my head. I was like, I know you guys are going to spawn withers. And then I heard the wither sound. I wanted to talk about you guys. And then I was like praying that I wasn't in Nalora. And when I saw that wither boss bar, I like just ran. I ran to the Yeah, rail but like, who, who did you see place the wither? Like, be honest. Uh, I was in the hotel, and it spawned on the ice river. Right, but you remember hearing Bacon say that, uh, hey guys, yeah. and I and I quote this almost verbatim, hey guys, I'm summoning a wither. He said, I don't know, <clears throat> something about the tree. Right, yeah, because uh, Bacon, he was referencing the tree he summoned the wither by. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, I, um... Coming into this, I didn't think I was going to have to say this, but I, I believe that we should at least put some kind of warrant out for uh, Bacon's Pearl. Whoa, um, whoa, whoa. There was, like, no damage <laughs> done to Nalora other than the giant crater on the ice river. Yeah, but you see, the, the damage that I'm referencing... It's just the beginning that he's going to do. Uh, a, exactly. Anvil's absolutely right. That was just the beginning. That was just a taste. I don't think you understand, Gas, how many wither uh, Bacon actually has control of. Uh, if you walk into his house, he quite literally has a dispenser for any of his guests that dispenses free soul sand and uh, in Wither's calls, because he just he just has it like that. He doesn't care. Um, I, I would be concerned. In fact, I uh, I would I would plant snitches, um, probably a good like six or seven thousand blocks, you know, above the IF, just just for for bacon, you know. Um, 
I, I believe he should be POS for the IF. I think that, uh, and, and the damages that I'm referencing, yeah, he didn't do immediate damage to you guys, but like Anvil said, that was the beginning. I mean, like, for you the know? IF, I'd say no, but for other nations he did the most damage to, they could put him in yeah. POS. I, but yeah, I don't sure. wanna, I don't wanna make the nations want to do it, it's <laughs> their choice. But For sure. Personally, I'd say, like, mm, no, not really. Give him, like, a second chance. Uh, Bacon also mm. physically assaulted Physics Gamer. POS, no, I'm joking. <laughs> well, I guess he has some redeeming qualities. <laughs> he, uh, he got hands on with him and he beat, he beat the shit out of Physics and. Uh, physics actually had to uh, come out to us for help. The other day, we had to follow Physics because he was running scared. Um, and we had to uh, chase him down. Um, he, he really thought Bacon was such, an, such a threat that he, uh, he friend-pearled a uh, mushroom cultist and, uh, and kited with him uh, to Butternut Vault and then uh, to another undisclosed vault. Um, so we, we, had to, uh, we, we had to follow him for a security. It, it was crazy. And Bacon was just foaming at the mouth. He was ready for the kill. Um, we actually finally calmed him down. Uh, by the time we got the bacon, he actually had enough for at least 25 withers in his inventory. So, I... 25? Well, well, like, 20, 25 withers in his inventory, absolutely. My god. Yeah, he's... Dude, he's, he's crazy. He's crazy. If he ever makes a nation, 99% of the population will be withers. Oh, for sure. I mean, all he has to do is drop one wither and it's done. So. <laughs> is Bacon requesting to speak? <laughs> Not yet. Bacon, would you like? do you have anything you'd like to add to these accusations placed against you? Uh, okay, he, he would like to speak. We're going to bring Bacon up and right. let him explain his end of the story as to why he did these heinous things. Well, hello, Dr. Bacon here. Okay, okay. I mean, okay. First off, I'd like to get away that I'm being framed for all of this. I mean, and was all at the Wither Farm, so I mean, it was him and whatever. But, like, if I did do it, would it really be that bad? Let's just, let's just say that. And personally, I thought it was kind of base. But if I did do it, if I, I didn't do it, but if I did... This is how I'd do it. I'd go, and I'd mine, like, two, like, I'd make, like, pathway under the entire IF where there's just one line of dirt, and the rest is underground. And I'd go every ten blocks, I'd place, like, a wither, and then go that around the entire IF, and then I'd go to each and every single one, activate them all, and then activate them all, blow up the remaining layer of dirt, holding up the rest of the IF. And then chaos ensues, and you know, maybe I could bring CS or two or Bobby. But that's, that's hypothetically. So, let me ask you this. When you went and placed the wither inside oh, the... Well, well, no, 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 I said I, I, said I was being... I said I was being framed, but if I did do it, it would be kind of based. So, you, you think that it would have been cool to do it, but you didn't do it? Yeah. So, so if I'm confused, Bacon. I mean, we we found the wither on you. So, like, how are you gonna how are you gonna deny that? Well, uh, do you have a source for that? Uh, yeah. I mean, I have like three other people here that saw you with the wither. Uh, do you have like picture proof? Uh, not necessarily, but I can bring somebody from the audience who will store. Would you I like a have, moment to? I have the message you sent. Well, well, that's not. Right let's not jump to conclusions, line. guys. That's not. A lot of, uh, there's a lot of factors. There's a lot of factors. There's a lot of factors. A lot of factors. Store, welcome, welcome to the table, Store. How yeah, yeah. I mean, personally, I I saw bacon. Oh my gosh, with up, I swear to God. I, you know, I saw him doing some really terrible things. Actually, it was honestly, it was quite hard to watch. But you know, I just braved it so I could just. You know, be a witness. You how know, are you gonna think about how are you gonna talk about things that are hard to watch, bro? You're literally from Britain. 
Uh, that's an invalid point. Uh, and th anything else? Uh, you're wrong. Uh, cope. Cope and Sneed. Uh, um, so, Can with all that being said, Bacon, I mean... There, there, there's not much in your field, like, defending your case, so... Uh, okay, 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 okay. I actually got, I got something. It was actually... It was, it was brainwashed, because you know how I said that they took over TI, so that they could spend their, spread their media beliefs. It was brainwashed and state-funded by the physics gamer-owned Temporal Isles. Holy shit. They don't want what? you to know that, but it's true. So you were brainwashed by a PG. Yeah, pretty much. He supplied me with the obby, withers, everything. That is. It was a tragedy. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was trying. I, I was trying to tell you guys earlier in this podcast, but I kept saying I was framed because the brainwash is still, is still, still a little bit in there. Right. Bacon, are you uh, real? No, he's uh, not. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Every. Every Don't day, I, uh, I I sit in front of the Busey J statue, Every like and I pray to my and I pray to my Lord. I pray to my, I pray to our Lord, Chris Crispy. And every day it gets a little bit better with just a little bit of Vicinian patriotism. Job less, bro. Job less. Honestly, on job. Incredible, incredible. Well, Bacon, I, I hope you find the hope and salvation in our Lord and Savior, Chris Crispy, and uh, his befallen son, Ja. I'm ja. I'm ja. And, um, oh shit, I just got a free pearl. Let's go. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, do, you, do you have anything you'd like to add? We have two people in the guest. We're going to tag some people out, uh, bring them in, and I think after they have their piece, I think we're going to call this episode a wrap. Uh, uh, do you have anything you'd like to add? We still have another 30 ish minutes, so. I think we, after a couple of these, we just wrap up the guest segment and just talk. Yeah, let's let's hear you. Let's hear you too. I think podcasts should be like about two hours long. Every podcast oh I've ever done was only like an hour, so I'm here for it. Let's go. I want to hear you too now. Okay, well let's. Uh, we got two people in the audience, so we're gonna bring them on. Let them go at it. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, Noble, then Thunderfox. Okay. Uh, Noble, you gotta accept the invite? He accepted it. Mm. Wonderful. Alright. Welcome back, Noble. Yeah. Hmm. Do you have anything you'd like to add to today's subjects? Yes. Alright, let's hear it. You want to know how I'm going to make... Uh, how I also am going to make Transylvania... I'm um, also... Wait. I, this is how I'm going to make Transylvania even more greater than before with Monetary Slave later. Hmm. No one gets freedom of speech uh, because... I am the state. Alright. And... Because I will be emperor of Transylvania, and no one else will until, like, 20 years or so in IRL. Mm -hmm. And oh, yeah. I'm gonna... Imp you know, I'm gonna impolet into... Don't have this nation's gonna... The, the Transylvanian Empire will be authoritarian because I am the state. And like I said, well, I just want to see. I want to see it in another week. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna take all the food just for me. I think you should, bro. Don't let anything stop you either. I won't. I will try my best. If I have the motivation to. Oh, you got motivation. You've got a week. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you got a week. Uh, do you think after a week uh, we can put a bounty on your head? You don't have it done. Give you a little bit of fire under your foot. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right. 
Oh, now I'm really motivated. Oh, for sure, bro. I'm, I'm just trying to, like... I'm, I'm looking at my best interests, and I understand sometimes that it's hard to get that, like, that motivation. Um, and sometimes the best motivator is, uh, you know, call cash, um, especially if it's in your... Um, if, if it's basically against you. So, uh, if in a week, uh, Transylvania isn't cooed, and you are not uh, the reigning god emperor, um, I personally will, and I, I have the wealth to do it, uh, I will place a 150 diamond b uh, bounty on your head, um, and uh, you, you are allowed to stay alive and if nobody captures you until you become the the uh, the god emperor of the IF. What not happens if I'm not online? You're not sloth. I'm sorry? What happens if I'm not online? I could catch him and kill me. I, I couldn't quite hear you. You broke up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I know people and I have connections. And uh, have you ever heard of a log box? No. Okay, well, uh, you will in a week. So I suggest we get it taken care of. And um, you won't have to know what a log box is. Oh. Alright, uh, let's let Thunderfox on. Wonderful. Uh, see you in a week, Noble. Thunderfox, what's up, brother? I would like to say that I must defend bacon on the whole with a thing. Oh, uh, hold on. No, no defending bacon. He's a terrorist. We can't have that. That is propaganda. Okay, hold on, Thunder. I'm just kidding. You can come back. Request, request audience. <laughs> Yeah, I did. <laughs> any any pro bacon I hear, I just I just immediately booted. Okay, hold on, you can come back. Okay, well, <laughs> damn. Okay, because later that day, I remember that Gath was panicking. Because later that day, the door said he was going to come to a villa and kill him. What? You do you not remember that? I do not remember that. There was. <laughs> We were, you were on general chat, and Sniper was talking about stuff, and then he got Sador involved, and then Sador said he would come and kill you. That was a joke. Well, Sador the next a day, Avila was withered. And I wasn't killed. Nor was I attempted to it was an It was an attempted assassination on your life. So oh, I'm just saying, okay. it might have not been bacon. You're, well, you're the one who said before you joined CivMC that you would take over a nation. Hey, whoa, 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 and whoa! whoa. That's Dark not. Lord. You also that's not, gave me that's intrusive not, thoughts. Listen, th that that's past me. I'm a changed things. man. I'm a changed man. But sure, sure, okay. I'm just saying that maybe it wasn't bacon. Maybe everyone was brainwashed in this situation. It was actually the British man on the call. Okay, okay. That's all I have to say. So, right. Thunderfox, is there any yeah. nation that you ever considered cooing? Um, all who's, of them. Who's your active nation? Yeah, all of them. All of them. Who, who, who's your active nation? Uh, yeah, uh, Imperial Federation. Alright, uh, you've got a week. week. Alright. I'm oh, setting no. precedent here. <laughs> Thunderfox. I'll I'm setting precedent. Hide. You got a week. I split it even. 50-50. I'm trying to see some action happen. <laughs> uh, Forgast News and Podcast is not responsible for any coups that may happen in this server. Yeah. Just wanted to point that out. I am not responsible for this. I did not recommend it. Did oh, I did. Me. I'll take responsibility. I put the money out there. I got it. Oh, that's the end of guest talk, right? Yeah, that's the end of guest talk. So it is back to just you and I, Gas. How are you doing this evening? Oh, good. How are you? Uh, I'm doing wonderful. I'm currently trying to get back to Hysenia from the ever-confusing ice roads between Hysenia and Icarus. I'm just making sure the obsidian I placed around Caddy's house to prevent him from collecting his stuff wasn't broken. Wait, what happened? Oh, uh, Caddy has a house here in the villa, and he has some chests that are reinforced. We don't know what's in them. 
so we placed obsidian around them because it could have stuff Caddy could have used to escape or kill everyone. It could be bombs. Yeah, that too. Yeah. So it's all covered in obsidian. I mean, yeah, he can no. still go in the house, but all his chests and his bed were covered in obsidian. So let me ask you this, guys: Is there any, uh, as far as like the server goes, and you know we have our packages and all of that laid out? Um, is there anything that you've thought of that we can talk about here publicly that you might want to do with the uh, the foregast? The foregast? Um, yeah. I might want to clean up channels a little bit and uh, maybe add some new features soon. Definitely going to add new emojis when people recommend them. Yeah. Right. I've actually never managed a Discord server, so I don't know what all goes into it. Uh, I've had, like, about one or two. Not a lot. I mean, you did a damn good job putting this one together. I, I swear to God, if you hop on and, like, and just disagree with what I said, I will be disappointed. Who, if I did? Uh, if Thunderfox knows the truth. Excuse me? What's, that's really ominous. <laughs> Who knows the sheer <laughs> amount of Discord servers? I, I mean, I've had only like one or two Discord servers ever. Okay, just the way you said it, it sounded extremely ominous. Like, like there was something else that we're not supposed to know about. He knows. <laughs> oh, fuck. He knows what the sentient dirt did. Oh shit. I uh I am under the, the harsh realization that a stack and a half of bread will take me safely to Icarus, uh, but it will not take me back home. Um I am almost out of breath or breath bread. I'm going to die. Still I can't. I'm so far away. Wait, am I? I'm like Bro, dude, we we have to we have to get that ice road done, bro. Like this is just miserable. You have to go like through like some sketchy parts of the server to get to get back. I haven't really been traveling that much. I mean, like, I went to another state in DIF like yesterday, right. but that's pretty much it. I know we're talking about getting a new station soon, so hopefully I can get something set up to get there pretty quickly. I like to have that up. Looking on the map to see. Which place is good for an HQ? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen, I've seen a few islands that look promising, but I don't know exactly what's what and, like, who owns who. Bro, what the yeah. fuck, dude? This is incredibly confusing. I mean, I uh, have a place really close to Nalora. <laughs> Incredible. Hold on. I am trying to check something. Um, I'm looking at the map, but let's see. Uh, containment on my way. Please, bro. I'm at the very end of the... Sorry, I am currently dying, and I'm trying to get food so I can make it back. Unacceptable. Uh, yeah. Food. The, the, the next episode, I'll definitely be on that server with you. Um, yeah. this one I just kind of got caught up doing my own thing. <laughs> so hopefully I can avoid this. I don't know what's happening, though. Uh, Alright. I do not have any materials for what I want to build. Which sucks. Should I have to mine all the materials I need. I hope I don't die, Stor. Okay. Um, I think what we need to do is... Uh, I mean, I, I had fun this episode, for sure. I had a lot of fun this with it. It was definitely a lot better than I thought it would have been. been. A lot more chaotic than this, especially with the inclusion of the guests. 
I think what we'll do is we'll take notes from this episode. Um, kind of get a, yeah, we'll take notes. We'll get a better approach. Yeah, and, and like, we'll, we'll get better. I I'm sorry, want to plan like more segments we can have because right now we just had like mostly guests talking and then just us two, which is a little bit boring for a podcast. I think we should spice it up a bit. Oh, we will. We will. We'll, uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll start a time um, where uh, we'll spend, you know, X amount of time talking about a subject, oh, and then we'll bring guests on to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Subject. And, uh, I mean, this is the first one we've ever done, so what we'll do is we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll space it out better. You know, it'll it'll only improve. I truly believe that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> Actually, right now, I'm going to hop off of MC and attend to some technical stuff real quick but i will still be talking for like uh yeah i was actually uh just minutes. how many more 20-ish minutes 20-ish minutes I uh i mean i'm cool with wrapping early if you're okay with that because i really have to use restroom yeah, yeah uh we can actually pause it real quick and then when you get back we can continue if you'd like um would you like to do that or do you think we have 20 more minutes to pull out of things I mean, as long as you, as long as you don't think you'll be in the bathroom for like more than twenty minutes, that's okay. Uh, I don't think I will. Um. Yeah, then we can just uh pause it real quick. I'll unmute no. uh the music Discord built in. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, if, if you want, I can go a few seconds, and I can just go use the restroom real quick. Yeah. That way, we can definitely. knock this last twenty minutes out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because see you in a second. Uh, to all the viewers, enjoy the music. I might actually play some of my own. I could just bring my mic in the in the restroom, and you guys can just hear me piss oh, off God Rider. No, no, no. Okay, never mind. I won't do that. <laughs> stream? Which, which stream, Sador? <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. stream some real music. are gonna love this strays is rated r you a stray you can do anything you want anything tell it no you're his daddy hey no i'm your father it's good to finally meet you Great. Great. handsomely oh, dressed in a much. smart little tunic hold up strays only in theaters rated r one hour can change your life All right, gamers, I'm back. Oh, dang it. I was about to play some real music. Fucking new man. What the fuck? This is real music. Bro, I have one piece of bread left, Sador. One piece. Fuck yeah, incredible. Oh, shit. I can go back and forth. I've seen it three times now. 
Uh, Stir is holding his hand. Would you like to bring him in for a second? He's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He may want to sit with him. Okay, cool. Hold on. We're not talking about much. We can just continue the guest speak. Yeah, I'm down. Let's get him in here. Welcome in. Yeah, I was. I was just gonna. I was just gonna talk during during the short break. Wait for us to come back here. All right, I'm coming Wait. back. This is the. Uh, you can you can use this as Chijum's ice road that he uh, he made, which is slightly quicker. It insects are a diagonal one. Just make a waypoint here, and then you can, uh, you can go across it. <laughs> Dude, it's it literally it's... shaves off like thirty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's better. It's better. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Uh. So yeah. Um. How, out of ten, how do you think this podcast has gone, by the... Uh, eleven. Eleven. Um, That's yeah, great. Yeah. What about you, Gaff? That's because I set my expectations pretty low for the first episode. So this. <laughs> how how do you rate how do you rate the first episode? The first. Out of ten. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Huh? Uh, out of ten, how do you rate the first episode? The first episode was pretty decent for our first episode. I'd say eight out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like in the future I'd like to add more segments. Um, you know, more uh more featured parts, you know, some some like games maybe here and there. Uh I think we should probably tone down the length of it a little bit because um of the amount of content unless we can successfully fit content into it. Um but like we, we shouldn't have like too many like uh, just just open spots, you know, where we're like, what should we talk about? Because the podcast, you don't want to hear what should we talk about. It should be the next subject immediately. Mm, you want um, it to flow. Yeah, you want it to flow very well. But I don't think we did terrible at all. I think we did great, you know, given the uh, uh, given what we had to work with. Yeah, I'm here for definitely. it. Me too. Me too. Do I get the uh, OG podcast, bro? Uh, you're going to get yeah, it right that... after this episode is over. Uh, that's what I really wanted. No, 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 it's fine. Oh, uh, we will, we will, Bacon. Bacon said that we need to make more people. Uh, and I'm here for it. I like, uh, you I like to do what? make more people argue. That's true. I mean, you know, it may have been loud, but it was hopefully entertaining. Very entertaining. We should get, we should get, um... Uh, Bacon said, bring Kami and Chris on. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that'd be an incredible episode. Bring bring physics and Bacon on. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, what we'll do is we'll bring physics and Bacon on. Um, we'll bring Kami and Chris on. Yeah. Uh, we'll bring GGM and Quinns on. Um, <laughs> I think that'd be interesting. Really I think they'll probably end up agreeing. <laughs> do you guys want to hear my really loud cabinet door? Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, by the way, quick fun fact. My computer is actually in a cabinet. It's like a cabinet specially made to put your computer in so you can play. It's weird. Okay. Uh, but here it is. Did you hear it? No, you must have a really good microphone. I didn't hear anything. Oh, I heard it. Just the... Bro, do you play in your kitchen? Nope. I do not. <laughs> uh, for the final few minutes, I think I'm finally going to play Enter the Gungeon. What is that? Is that a game? Uh, yeah. We I'll should play Roblox. Oh god, I haven't played that in months. You're no, missing out. Years. I'm glad I'm missing out. Cringe? Last time I've seen that game it was chaos. Chaos? What's chaotic with Roblox? Alright. Gungeon is being streamed. Oh, let's get uh Sidor out of here. Uh Bro, and... people that people that post on their LinkedIn like it's a social media website are the cringiest people. I have a buddy of mine that uses LinkedIn like it's Facebook. Like, dude, it's a social media for recruiters looking to give you a job position. Oh, I thought it was like 
the thing that helps you plug your social media LinkedIn I mean I'm sure you could do it but like the only place I've ever seen LinkedIn used like at all is for like you know uh, looking for a job <laughs> We should uh we should create a job board for Icinians, uh, Bacon's door and anvil. We should we should hire people to work the farms at a uh, at a payroll. server changes and stuff like that. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, at least bring it up to a group of people who can discuss it. So I don't think it has to be anything like a, like a legislative thing, but I think it's a good idea to have a group of people that can discuss issues like that. Um, I think that's really good for like managing a business, but for like a like a group of people that just generally, um, you know, just banter back and forth. I don't know if it's like the the biggest issue, but we'll uh, we'll watch the server, you know, see how it grows, and you know, if that's something that we need, I don't see an issue with it. I don't I don't think moderation is an issue um, or an issue as long as it doesn't become like over moderation. You know, like you want to you want to allow like certain freedoms and flexibilities. And, and that kind of like brings me to the talk, talking point of like the the seven C like server and admins and their roles. Um, yeah, one of which sub such topic would be like like piss dog, you know. Um, a, a lot of people like are kind of upset that the admins are you know uh, cracking down on the sharing of piss dog. Have you seen the piss dog? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. So the admins are like cracking down on it. Used to they would like silence people. Do what? There's not, and it's it's not like it's uh, it's it's not pornographic or sensitive material. It's literally just a being on the ground. You know, I've I've seen like plenty of other similar videos. Um, it, it's hard to tell like if there's actually an offense being made, or if the admins are like, hey, this is a meme we've done forever. Uh, let's just continue to do this meme. You know, and. I, I hate to assume it could be that because I do like to believe that the admins have a press of mine. Um, and, like, unless that picture is just being reported enough times that they could lose, like, uh, the server, I just I just find that hard to believe. Like, I've seen, like, raunchier memes and raunchier Discord servers. And, you know, when they say, oh, this is a 13 and up, you know, Discord server, um, I've seen PG 13 movies where people literally piss themselves. Like,. I don't know, it's a dog, you know? But I, I digress, it's their server, it's, you know, uh, their job to uphold their standards, and it's my job to just, you know, listen to it, but I'm not gonna stop people from sharing piss dog in, in this server, you know, they can do it all they want, I don't give a fuck. It doesn't bother me. The only thing that bothers me in this server is bacon hair posting. He's a known terrorist and we can't be associated. Uh, yeah, I see it. If you're watching me play, you can see that 7C is pretty chaotic as well. Who's on right now? Let's see. Let's see some. Let's see some some cool names. We got uh, Kibbles, the boss. Uh, refuse to input. Let's go over base players. Anvil, fucking phenomenal player. Love that guy. Uh, Colonel Bacon, uh, the best Bacon. Um, hands. We don't have much uh, to talk about. I need a few minutes to upload this video and make sure it's good. So I think we just end the podcast here. We can let everyone on at once and just say goodbye or something. Uh, we can say goodbye here. I feel like if we let everybody on, uh, everybody's going to have something to say and some people might not even join. So we'll just let them. Just, um, you guys are permitted to say bye or else you will be perma paroled. No, I'm joking. Uh, Say your final adios. Bye, guys. <laughs> Goodbye. Adios. Hola.